Our young Emperor Sterleis is quite content with what he has reached. He has started a lot of research, he has improved the technology of the realm by a lot and everything is starting to look better. Even his wife is now pregnant again and that's something he's now celebrating by feeding her well. <laughs> At least for the time of the pregnancy. Everyone is entitled to, to his or her belly and she certainly has owned it. Oh, Chief of Kogulyev is, is that new young guy here that we might know personally. Good. Well, what are our further plans? Our further plans are, as we're a, I mean, we're a detached priest, but we're not really churchy probably because we're disappointed in the tutor we're erudite so we would like to to have uh, some kind of research here and then it would mean that we would probably improve the hospital give it something here having scholars translating the languages of pilgrims allows us to communicate more efficiently that would be good or a library would be good or maybe a pharmacology would be good yeah that's probably the first thing to go for as he had that scarring uh, flu experience in his early rain years oh and now my wife Tandrick asked me to buy her some new clothes because of the pregnancy she's outgrown most of her wardrobe and now she feels frustrated for not having anything nice to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court very well, summon the tailor. Everything for a good realm. High Chief Jedward of Kola. He's a High Chief? Are they tribal again or what? <laughs> what is happening here? It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some immoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. Um, well, I think we'll buy her something nice, right? Everything for her. distract her a bit arbitrary right now hmm we're not a good influence it seems maybe we should inspire her meliorism um, she could profit from our learning or she could become the law speaker of the realm as well of course and We'll give her help in... Uh, only by knowing ourselves can we lead others. Here we go. And now she's possessed. Great. Ah, uh, We've got a possessed wife. We have a new heir, Bragi Stolason. Our son, yeah. And I, I think it's only fitting that we named him Bragi now. After our, our, our great father. And... Uh, get a five etiquette really yeah we rolled a five named Bragi really really good so that's that's the new air well it's it's good it's really really good we're happy happy about him could assign a guardian but we would probably look look personally for him our father has son that uh, has done that as well with us and we really care for family a large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold their leader a jovial man of massive growth Please you with a strain in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Yeah, why not? Let them in. It's okay, it's fine. 
evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regals you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring a second serving. Yeah, and our wife is probably into that. She's now possessed and gluttonous. Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Dawn breaks, and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as a thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language, and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says, his loyalty to you. His new master shall be beyond reproach. He's a master schemer. A loyal servant. A cynical, humble, temperate, diligent, a master schemer. Loyal servant for a hundred years. We would really need some help in that. That was very kind. I accept your gift. How is the council? We have Frerick the Beguiling still, our herdman. He may die one day and then... I mean, he's deceitful and ambitious. That's, that's always something... Uh, yeah, when he dies, we will have someone in the back. It, I might have been too harsh to the courtiers at Kuloi, but Chancellor King Rickhoff managed to calm them down and even like me more. Just by giving them a half day off. How can I ever reward you? Thank you, but you only did your job. How can I ever reward you? My good lunatic friend. There's raiders here. In Ingria. Oh, here I see. I think that's pretty negligible. Concerned about the future of my dear son Bragi. It requires a strong and healthy air in order to prosper. Yeah, and of course, um, we'll grow him with the utmost care. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll grow him with the utmost care. I found a great philosopher who has agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in our county. With your permission, I we could employ him. I mean, we are obsessed with technology a little bit, so we'll do that. Even if it's not responsible, but we are not good at stewardship that much, so it's okay that way. According to Chancellor Rickhoff, the peasants of Enega Peninsula have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance, feast and pair up for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, Rickhoff believes that the county will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. Yes, support it! And the county of Belo Zero is also doing very well. We're just, we're just a little bit in financial trouble, but that will go away, I'm sure. Just not the best at, at that. Everything's jolly so far. What's going on here? He still doesn't like us so much. Well then. Can negotiate with someone? Hastain? Nope. Yeah. Move back, by the way, with to, to, to Upland. Here we go. This young man has formed an alliance. I've noticed the pitiful state of my daughter. Oh my goodness, she is... Um, I mean, that, that's where it stops, right? Call for the court physician. Even now that the pregnancy is over, my wife's cravings for exotic foods have yet to stop. I'm starting to think she's just taking advantage of my generosity to grow fat. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll in inform her a little bit. I mean, she might be angry, but we're groomed and we really think attractiveness is good. I think you've had enough, dear. And she's not fat anymore. Wow. 
My leech, please listen to me. That man you're so fond of is no more than a treacherous, despicable snake. Scrungles the seducer of Ugra has tried to convince me to be more careful about my friends. I did not know what Mayor Aina of Bragidora uh, Whom do we trust more? This man we trust with 10. This man we trust with 10. We'll roll it. D4 is 1 and 2 is the first option. We have a 3. I don't believe you. You're just jealous. My dear wife has finally listened to my advice. In a few weeks she might be back into shape. Good for her and me. What to do about her possession though? That's really worrying. Yeah, and we wanted to save for the hospital. But well, what can you do? With these grand offers from our advisors that are so well at researching technologies, there can't be nothing else, right? Do we have here? Rickles, the chief of Feria. We have had the, the Battle of Ninkoping, okay. Yeah, that was again with a possessed spy master. Ah, no, we will wait a bit. Freri, the chief of Rouen, a lunatic spy master, that's also not better. Scrungles, the chief of Ugra. No, we have just giving him confronted him even that's not good it's not good at all we'll, we'll have to go for our court eunuch eunuch your own yeah you know what i mean jal stain of welsk can be imprisoned what does he want to do nothing anymore already and so and so and so and so What's that a Yezugan army a peasant revolt indeed that's a little bit worrying oh look we're, we're finally in the plus again that's quite good See how oh, the economy really advances quickly. And Tendrick is pregnant again. That's excellent. Excellent news, my wife. She's a little bit angry, but she's heard. Hmm. Burger. The troops. They move to Finland. Moving further. Or they can move there, we don't care. Pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Yeah, I, I will make sure to get all she wants and more. We've had that. And it has worked perfectly in our opinion. Execution? We have three supporters and four opponents, and so it might not come through. <sighs> execution well it's not that important for us to have full control over executions it's not the type of person we are Freya Dovre died of a natural death. What about her? She had, I think she was... Her grandparent was King Bragi the Brenner of Benevolent. Okay. Helgi has declared Getish Holy War for Slokovia. What have you declared? On King Milos. Well then, I'm sure you do well. We wanted to look at someone 
I think King Refer of Sjelland it was. And he would accept to become a vassal now. As we're so akin and powerful. You live in harmony and contentment. I accept to swear fealty to you and serve as your vassal lord. Very nice, Refer. That's really a good thing. We are threatening now. Uh, we need a, a new regent as well. Let's have a look. Rikulf. I mean, Rikulf is quite good, but we really don't trust him that much. Our marshal we trust more. No, we re actually we trust Rikulf more. But he's a lunatic. We probably won't entrust him with that. Willivald the Young. Eskil the Jarl of Gilland. Burger the Jarl of Cargopol. He's de depressed. I mean, we have Aslak of Nidaros, who's impressive. I mean, this man will probably impress us as well. He's just a well-rounded man. We'll choose him. And a court sculpt. Oh, very nice. So he he must be a poet. And then, yeah, that, that totally do that. And a new herdman. Um, maybe one of the younger ones, right? Willibald the young even called the young and a court eunuch we have of course Constas he'll get to that and the question is uh, our court eunuch he's, he's Greek but he's reformed pagan Germanic so I don't know why we don't like him Maybe because he's cynical? Because he's a eunuch? Attraction opinion. Well, that shouldn't count, right? Well, well, well. We'll see. Mm hmm. And the usurping High Chief Gudrodr the Seducer. Aha. The chief has gotten a new thing. Well then, let's see. Uh, we have this man. Uh, he must be at peace. That is France, I think. No, it's Folkwin of Westergothia. Looks wild. Mechthild the Usurper. King Radke. Must be at peace. Yeah, we'll see about that. Goatland. King Nalka of Vladimir. All at some kind of war. And what is that? Serbia? It's down here. How could Serbia get that? Some inheritance, probably. Well then, let's continue our ways. We're threatening anyways. Everyone is now at, an, at a pact against us. Fabricate a claim on the kingdom of Nenezia. Dalstein of Welsk. Is he ambitious or what? He's zealous? Envious? Probably because he's envious, right? Hmm. But he no longer does it, right? 
Ah, uh, yeah, there's just some plots that have nothing to do with us. And finally, we're, we're seeing land again on, on our money. Let's see about our heir. Is our heir doing well? And a daughter was born to us and Empress Tandrek named Sophia. And why not name name her after after our wife that we love so much? Tandrek Stolas dot here. Magnificent. Four. Jarl Semund of Succola. What is this man doing? Asta Dovre. Everyone wants to kill each other here. It's so terrifying. What's going on here? The peasants are moving. Bragi of Blekinge. Af Dovre. The other Dovre house. Bottle for Finnmark has usurped a title. From Einar the Cruel. Bragin the Great accepted Rikulf the Tormentor's peace offer. Aha, look at that. Finland has shrunk. And now we have Rikulf, who is exceptionally powerful. Thankfully, he's already in the council. As she's growing older, I see that Malmfrid, our half-sister, could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. Hmm. We kind of like her. Uh, she, but she must learn on her own. She's not our, our child. It's not something we will do. Look at that. The empire really grows because of our vassals. And here we have... Yeah, we have the defensive pack growing again. Goodness. Everywhere killings. Oh, um, I've been corresponding regularly with my half-sister Goberga and always make sure to see her whenever I get this chance. It's a harsh world and family must stick together. Family first. Tribalist, sturdy, zealous, and patient. Hmm. Mm. We could even have a private conversation. We will do that. Get to know each other a little better. She was impressed. And Tendrek is pregnant again. My goodness. Our wife is really doing the duty. <laughs> excellent though. Really excellent. Yeah, that's we're we're becoming the patriarch at age twenty-one. Smallpox in Blackinger. Not good. Not good at all. What's going on here? They are arriving on Velsk. Thankfully, they are moving through. Probably to regenerate. Hmm. We're still threatening. 
thankfully we we probably have Rikov on our side still yeah as much as possible he's on our side oh no oh no our uncle has died at a very young age how did that happen infected wound and now we have this young man who is ruling and who rule really likes us that's nice that's fine and now we need another advisor who comes to mind J the, the jarl of sjelland yeah that's probably a good choice to appease him mm. He wants a seat on the council. Well, if that's the main thing. It's our new vassal. We, we also have, of course, the Jarl of Petra, who really loves us. But this man is just too powerful, and we will have him on the council. Here we go. And this will yeah, make him make him content, at least. Here we go. We've got that going. The Mercus Mother, the standard bearer. Mm. Someone who is relatively good looking should do that. Maybe this man. He's groomed, scarred, so he's impressive in his own way. Mm. On the other hand, we could look out for our friends like this man he's also impressive he's brawny he's got cancer though hmm. stay in the doll of Wilsk. no i think grimmer would be a good choice here he's also good at learning so we probably understand each other well A steward is away again. Well then, it is how it is. Rickulf seeks to kill Falky. Oh well. Ruling the Northern Realm, right? My wife Tandrak has offered to travel to the Xi Empire on a mission to bring glory to the Empire of Nenezia. Let a humble servant strengthen your relations with the Emperor of the Xia Empire. You're pregnant! Oh my goodness, you cannot stop a pregnant woman. I know she's possessed. Maybe she will be healed there. We cannot say no to her. That's the thing. We really, really like her. We love her. We know she's irresponsible, but that's... That's just how she is. Um... We cannot disappoint her. What a brilliant idea. Go with my blessing, my wife, but come back. Come back healthy. We know you can do it. You're gregarious, of course. You want to... You want to get out there. It's true. Prince Kettle needs something. Mm. Diplomatic education. Yes. That seems the best for him. And also for the realm. The realm must profit from his extraordinary ability. Gidya Aslag of Okolovsky has been discovered charging money for religious favors, putting the gold in her own pocket. Really? Gidya Aslag, what are you doing? It's intolerable. It's just that isn't something you can do here. Now, who will get that? Cruel, zealous, patient, Aza. She likes us. Mm. We have a couple of people who want to be on the council, though. Uh, that paranoid man with gout. We have Thora. 
We have Foster. We have the Princess of Nanitza. She has a cuff. Mm. We really like Grima. She has sympathy for Christian religions, but we don't care. We really like her. She likes us. We'll do that. She can research a cultural tick here as well. And that's fine. That's how it goes. Hmm. So, well, look at that. The skills go down when the power goes up, right? The natural order of things. And uh, that's also where we prepare for the next time. We always wanted to build something at the hospital. And maybe we're going to be able to afford that in the next episode. Maybe an observatory, maybe a pharmacology laboratory, maybe a medical academy. It's all going to be very good. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends.